everything's good. I have a extra mic stand in here, just in case. Extra cable, which I probably won't need. Um, but I am ready to do this. Ready to do the video and the review that so many better voice actors who have YouTube channels have already done. But heck, let's do it anyway. Because I have really, really wanted to review this mic. Uh -uh. Alrighty, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today, I finally got my hands on a microphone that I have been wanting to review. Uh, actually just wanting to own because there's already been enough people that I, whoops, do not fall, uh, that I really, really trust, Mike Delgadio, for example, uh, and they've already done reviews on this and I trust them, which is why I was totally cool buying it and figured that it would be a really, really good purchase for what I needed, but I also still want to review it because I'm the one who has to use it. And we are talking about the Cinco Mic D2, which has been known, for those who don't know, which might be a small handful of you, uh, as the Sennheiser MKH 416 killer or clone. Uh, there are many clones of the MKH 416, which is the microphone that I use most often. That is my workhorse mic. That is my favorite mic. And however, it's expensive. It's a $1,000 microphone. Now, it sounds like $1,000. I will say that. It sounds like $1,000. It is worth the money. However, do you need to spend $1,000? I don't think so. And this guy right here is, I think at the time that I bought it, uh, and links to whatever links I can get um, for it will be in the description. Um, I think it was 260 USD. So significantly, you know, uh, a significant difference in price. Um, but uh, yeah, it is significantly cheaper. The question is, how much cheaper does it sound? And from everyone else's reviews, it doesn't really sound like there's that much of a difference. Now, uh, the I got mine from Amazon, which is where I get a lot of my stuff, uh, especially um, when it's through the actual company's Amazon page. I just trust that a little bit more. I'll, obviously, a really good another really good site is Sweetwater. They're amazing. They're fantastic. But I do most of my shopping through Amazon, just because I have a membership kind of thing free shipping. All right, uh, let's go ahead and unpack this. There is a little bit of information on the back. We have the 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, which is pretty standard. Um, super cardioid, exactly like this. Um, most of these specs look very, very similar. Now, I think the waveform um, image is going to be slightly different. Now, I think every time I've done an unboxing in here, I always run out of room. I always have to pile it on the floor beside me. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Uh, the package came a little dented, but it was not, uh, like there's a little bit of rounding on the edge, but it looks to be totally fine. Like it looks everything's, there's no rips, everything seems good. So that's great. You don't wanna buy in a microphone, even if it's a cheap one, and then it just be, oh, this is beautiful. I love this already. Uh, you don't want to even buy a cheap microphone and then get like, you know, it coming kind of messed up. Um, well, uh, guess what? Uh, screw this box, this useless piece of crap, because we have this bad boy, which I was not expecting. I thought this was like an extra thing that I had to get. Does that actually show? Oh, it actually did show that on the back. I wasn't paying attention. It's right there. Oh, it's right there. Also, normally when I try to show you guys stats, it's on white paper and you can't see it, but you were able to see that. That's pretty good. Maybe not everything clearly, but you can see. All right. Make a nice little pile of garbage right beside me. That's nice. Um, alrighty. Uh, it seems like it's it's foam, but it's got like a, a, a denser foam. Like they took the foam and they pressed it until it became more rigid, until it became more um, sturdier. It has a new packaging smell, whether you're a fan of that or not. 
I'm going to turn off my keyboard so I don't like just push buttons when I open this up. All right. Um, and there we go. It is completely black, so you can't see shit. <laughs> That better slightly better um this is really really nice this is very very nice uh for those who don't know uh my sin has the mk416 just comes in a just a standard box um with uh, with i think the only thing it comes with is one of these i think pretty much exactly the same there's no real difference the microphone the microphone does not come plastic wrapped um, like this one did and then it comes with the oh that is weird oh I don't know if I like this what in the world what in the world is this? this is a very different mic cover it feels weird okay so it's basically this one um, but then it's like covered in like a felt almost that's what it feels like oh I don't know if I like that I don't know if I don't it's it's significantly denser. Um there's not as many like um obvious pores and holes and gaps. So I don't know if this is actually gonna change the sound of it. I don't know, I'll have to do some tests and see how much of a difference this actually makes, but it also it feels denser. Um but uh yeah, the the, the Sennheiser does not come in a, a package which is with as many um parts and elements. This is actually a pretty pretty good cable. Don't know why it's this short don't know what this is intended for i mean it's nice that it comes with something uh, this is technically long enough that if you like um you could attach this to a camera or i mean you could attach this to you know a field field recorder and you would get a little bit of movement it's not it's, it's not a lot um so i'll probably not be I, I i'll probably won't be using that but it is nice that it came with it it is nice all right, and then we have our documentation. Yeah, the waveform, and here's where everything goes, just completely snow blind. You can't see shit. Uh, all right, now to unpack this. Okay, it definitely has a different feel. I'll definitely say that it has a different feel. Um, it has more of a glossy texture to it. There's the, there's the, there's the winning. This just smells like factory cleaner or whatever. <laughs> Actually, I probably just got cancer from just from doing that. Um, it has a glossier feel. Um, the the coating on the the 416 has more of a matte, grainy feel. Uh, this one has more of like a, um, I don't know, just, just, a just, not really plastic, but just more like a gloss. Uh, the, that's going to bug me. The cap right there does not line up with the lines or the, uh, um, the slots on the side, the cancellation slots. So that's going to bug me a little bit, but ultimately it's fine. Most of the time it's going to be inside one of these. So it's not going to make too much of a difference. And um, it feels solid. Nothing rattling, thank God. Um, yeah, it feels sturdy. It feels solid. It feels about as much as the um, 416. I mean, if, if I didn't have the label and I wasn't as familiar with the 416 as I am and I was like walking to a studio and see this, I'd be like, oh, it's a 416. Um, yeah. Uh, let's plug it in. Let's hear this bad boy. Can I turn this up? All right, testing. Um, I'm not sure how much. I'm getting a little bit um a higher noise floor. I don't know how much of that is actually in the mic or how much of that is in my um, interface, but I am going to do a, a test later on in a second um, with both of these, uh, with one in one channel, the other one in the other channel. Um, maybe, maybe I'll do that. Probably not. Cause I, th I don't know. I don't even know if that, that, that kind of stuff even helps you guys when you do the, the left and right channel. Cause 
most people are listening it, to it in, um, you know, in kind of uh, mono anyway. But yeah, so so this is what the Sennheiser looks like. And as you can tell, very, very similar. Um, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't feel any different. And uh, yeah, you're listening to the Cinco right now. It's unless I do like a very, very strong side by side, which I will do. Uh, I can't tell the difference. I will say I, I think this this cover actually does make it muddier. I'm gonna take this off. Let's see what this sounds like. I think the um, yeah yeah that that actually does does make it a lot cleaner. I think this is too dense. I think this is too heavy. I I'll probably just see if I can buy another one of like exactly one of these because this is some light is coming through this a little bit of light. Not a lot. Um. I prefer this because you don't want anything that's going to prevent too much of the the sound getting in. You want something that is very, very, um, very light that can prevent dust and kind of help prevent plosives, but you do not want to cut off the, the, the high end, especially considering a shotgun mic is going to add some of that, that bassiness, especially when it's pointed at your chest your chin or chest it's going to get a lot more of that that base anyway so you do want to retain as much clarity and sh uh, sharpness as possible um but uh overall i love this this is great i mean i really wish that this microphone existed <laughs> <laughs> before I bought this not that I don't love my Sennheiser not that I don't love my Sennheiser um this is definitely this is st un unless something horrible happens to this this is still going to be my workhorse but starting out it would have deeply benefit me uh, to have this option instead of spending a thousand dollars now yes my Sennheiser did come with a free four hundred dollar um, field recorder and that was very beneficial but could I have done a whole lot more with having what is it like seven hundred and forty dollars left yeah I probably could have um yeah I it's gonna be very hard for me to even recommend buying the Sennheiser for people that need like a really good shotgun mic. I'm probably gonna recommend this guy. Now, I wanna talk about something that a lot of people don't know when it comes to industry microphones, the Sennheiser, the Neumann TLM 103, uh, the Neumann U87, that kind of thing. Um, also the, the Shure SM58 and SM57. So these are industry standard microphones. And they've basically had the exact same price since the beginning. They've had one price, and no matter what happens, they always have the exact same price. And as time goes on, we can easily replace them to varying degrees. We can imitate them really, really, you know, well. We can duplicate their success. We can create microphones that can compete in quality with these industry microphones. Now, why do these companies still charge a thousand dollars? You know, e even though now it, even for them, it should be relatively cheap for them to make their microphones. They've been doing it for a long time. They could actually have made a perfect copy of their own microphone, uh, you know, and charge less a long time ago. Why don't they? Well, that's because when these industry standard microphones first hit the scene, they were the best. They were the absolute best, and no one really came close. And they were the things that you needed to get any work done. And there wasn't a lot of other options on the market. So you had to go with theirs, and they could charge whatever they wanted. Well, before we actually had competitive copies, competitive clones, 
they were they had already ba- basically made huge financial empires. They had basically made tremendous companies that a lot of studios will still vouch for, will still shell out, you know, uh, an insane amount of money to get their products. Um, they're not going to be at a loss, even though mic- microphones like this exist. Sennheiser, their name alone garners uh, gets uh, gets them a lot of of business because people people are familiar with this if you're putting together a professional studio even if this is a perfect copy you're still going to be buying one of these because there's a lot of people that might not respect your studio even if it's their their judgment is unwarranted they might not respect your studio if you have a bunch of Cinco's um you know however if you have a whole bunch of Sennheisers they're probably going to like oh definitely a professional so because of that Sennheiser can continue to charge a thousand dollars so what really you're paying for when it comes to a microphone like this is not really quality anymore. It's not really the the benefit of having something that is the sound that you can't get with anywhere else because you can get this sound other places. Um, what you're actually getting is respect. You're actually getting, you know, it's it's kind of um, it's a status symbol. You know, it's a it's a way of telling other people in the industry. I'm taking my business very seriously. You should take me very seriously. Now, with that said, that is only relevant when you're working in the professional large studio industry. Um, If you're not working with major studios, you're not working with um, people that need you to patch in uh, with Source Connect or what have you to actually record, if you're not doing major international commercials, you don't need this. You do not need this. Um, and I, I kind of hope it does get to a point where people don't need to buy stuff like this for a status symbol. I really do hope that it gets to a point where industries, um, whether large or small, all understand that a really good copy that's inexpensive um, isn't something to you know turn your nose up to isn't something that says you're unprofessional. I really hope that it does get to a point where someone sees this microphone and goes, oh, I know what it sounds like. I know that it still sounds pretty much as good as this. It'll still mix and master in with my $1,000 you know, microphones, um, which is actually one, another one of the reasons is the industry standards exist. Is all of these microphones were able to match with each other. The, the um, you know, the, the, U87, the TLM 103, the uh, 416. Basically, you could have voice actors in very different places, different countries, and as long as the the interface is clean, um, getting clean signal, and you're using one of those microphones, you could mix and master them really easily, and it not sound odd, and it not sound like someone's on a different microphone. That was one of the reasons that the industry was like that. But now that we're pretty much getting to that point where there's a lot of microphones that can copy and emulate inexpensively because of the advancement of technology, I hope that people will start re- respecting microphones like this a little bit more. Same thing with the... Um, I'm going to have to throw a picture of it um, up. Um, a microphone that, I, that, that was sent to me by the company not that long ago. Um, I say not that long ago. It was probably like two years <laughs> Uh, to review, which was supposed to be a, a kind of um, poor man's um, U87, which is not an insult to the microphone. Um, and I, even though I don't have a U87 or a TLM-103 to compare it to, um, I, I, you know, it, it sounded great. And I would assume that it is pretty close um, just based on, you know, not that one, this one, <laughs> just based on my knowledge of, of this microphone. So anyway, uh, yeah, there's not much else that um, I'm going to do as far as talking about it. I will plug these up and I will do a side by side and that'll pretty much be it. So give me a second. Now is the winter of our discontent. 
made glorious summer by this son of York. And all the clouds that lower upon our house, in the deep bosom of the oceans buried, now are our brows bound with victorious wreaths, our bruised arms hung up for monuments, our stern alarums charged for merry meetings, our dreadful marches to delightful measures. Grim-visaged war hath smoothed his wrinkled front, and now, instead of mounting barbered steeds, to fright the souls of the fearful adversary, he capers nimbly in a lady's chamber to the lascivious pleasing of a lute. And there you go. I'm actually going to turn it off. Well, you know what? I'll, I'll leave them on, and I'll keep switching back and forth. Why not? Um, yeah, that's um, that's it. That's all she wrote. Um, I can, I can tell that there is a noise floor difference, which is what I kind of expected. Um, anytime a microphone has a kind of noise level, self self generated noise level, which I know I've I've heard some people that that say like, oh, well, microphones don't generate, they don't have self noise. It's always the interface. No, it's not. Cheap, cheaply made internal parts of a microphone it generates noise. It it has noise. It, it creates noise. It's a frequency that is not pleasant. It's noise. Um, that's why a lot of the newer microphones that are really cheap or budget friendly have a lot of noise. Um, but yeah, there's there's a little bit uh there's a little bit extra in the the noise floor. But ultimately they really do sound the same as far as like the way they they flatter the voice, the way they color the voice, the way they 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 properly replicate what you're saying. They're very similar. They have a very similar proximity effect. They have a very similar look, feel, weight, but very different in price. I would say that for someone starting out that needs a shotgun mic that they can audition with that works well um, with other studios or would be competitive uh, in the marketplace, I think the Cinco mic is a great buy. I, I, I think they did a fantastic job, you know, making a microphone that was as close to the 416 as they could possibly make it. And I think they did that. So, um, yeah, that's going to be it. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Totally fine. Subscribe if you're new. Bell for notifications. And leave down in the comment section below. Like to see me cover any other topics. Any other topics. Any questions. And I'm going to be having, I'm going to be using this microphone a lot uh, in the next coming months. So I'll probably have some, some, I might have some, some differing opinions later on. I might do another review. But for right now, I think it's, Problem with it. So yeah, gonna be it. Till next time, peace.